hi everyone welcome back to the second video of redemption of debentures now in this video we are going to see the sequence of events that will be happening in the company from the issue of debentures till the redemption of debentures yeah what all things happen in this period and in which order they happen that's very important for us to understand yeah the sequence of events in which order they happen yeah so you can't mess up the order if you mess up the order then your entire solution will be wrong yeah so that's why it's very important for you to understand and the general entries also we're going to see over here yeah and the general entries will not be specific to any of the methods of redemption of debentures such as purchase in open market or convertibility into shares no what we're going to do over here is just have a basic overview of the general entries okay and the specific general entries such as purchase in open market and that convertibility into shares and all we will see that while solving the problems of those types is that okay right so now before starting this video and before going into the sequence of events let's just recall what we did in the first video yeah the introduction of this chapter yes let's just revise that and we'll come back to this is that okay right now let's have a quick recap of what we have done in the first video of redemption of debentures chapter first we started off by understanding the basic concepts of debenture such as issue of debenture meaning and features of debenture and then i told you that we do this chapter completely from the company's point of view so whatever we do in this chapter we have to keep in mind that we are company is that okay yes so for the company the debentures are their liability and for the public for the debenture holders it's their asset because they have invested their money so in the investor books all the accounting will be done as per es 13 investment accounts and the debentures will be shown at the x interest price yeah at the cost of the investment but in the company's book the debentures are liability so it will be shown on the face value is that okay yes and then i told you that in this chapter redemption of debentures we have one method called as purchase from open market where the company goes to the open market and purchases its own debentures and cancels them off so when the company purchases its own debentures those debentures becomes the investment of the company it's already their liability but when the debentures are purchased it becomes investment so there es 13 will apply and we have to do accounting as per es 13 so you have to understand properly how the debentures are purchased and sold what's the concept of x interest come interest accrued interest due date all these things you have to understand and we have you know revised that in the first video all right the investment accounts basic concept and you also need to know how to calculate the x interest come interest and all these things okay yeah so that's what we have done in this slide and then we moved on to the next slide that's redemption of debenture the main part so what do you mean by redemption of debenture it means to pay the debenture holders their money back and that can happen either at the par at the face value only or more than the face value that's premium yeah so whatever extra that will be paid that's our loss we know that and then debentures are usually redeemed in cash yeah cash can be paid to the debenture holders and the debentures can be cancelled or it can also be the debentures can also be converted into equity shares if the debentures are convertible so that's the redemption of debentures part yeah and then we moved on to see the role of the companies act 2013 in redemption of debentures and in this section section 71 subsection 1 we saw that that the companies act 2013 allows the company to issue debentures with an option to convert such debentures into equity shares either wholly or partly at the time of redemption yeah but to issue such debenture the company act 2013 says that a special resolution must be passed at the general meeting to get the green signal from the equity shareholder then only the company can issue convertible debentures is that clear yes and then in this section section 71 subsection 4 we saw that the companies act 2013 says that whichever companies issue debentures they have to create a special reserve called as debenture redemption reserve drr out of the profits that are available for distribution as dividend from the profit and loss okay and the money which will be transferred to drr it cannot be used for any other purpose but only for the redemption of debentures yeah and we went deeper into this concept because it's very important for us see debenture redemption reserve a company issuing debenture is required to create a drr account out of the profits available for distribution of dividend and amounts credited to such account cannot be utilized by the company except for redemption of debentures so money from the profit from the profit and loss is transferred to a special reserve called as drr so the profits are being blocked over here only for the debenture holder this reserve is being created only for the debenture holders so this is decreased reserve is decreasing you have to debit that and this reserve is increasing we have recording that so you have to credit that profit and loss account debit to drr account yeah, that's a simple entry now the logic behind this is very simple we have to comply with the law the companies act 2013 says that we have to do that okay so the logic is very simple the logic is 
we will have enough fund the company will have enough sufficient liquid funds at the time of redemption while making the repayment of debenture holders and then one more purpose of creating drr is that it shows the genuineness of the company to the debenture holders because when the debenture holders will see the financial statements of the company they will see that a special reserve is being created called as drr only for us so they will feel that their money is very secure it is very safe with this company yeah? and we are going to get our money back at the redemption at the maturity date yeah so that's the logic okay simple logic then see the uh, note over here after redemption of debentures balance of drr is transferred to general reserve whatever money that will be left in drr at last after redemption of debenture the purpose of drr is over redemption of debenture is over then what money that will be there you have to transfer that to general reserve the entry for that is very simple drr account debit yeah you are decreasing that reserve whatever money is there you are removing that money from there and transferring it to general reserve general reserve is increasing you have to credit that simple then the second point see here in case of partly convertible debentures drr shall be created in respect of non convertible portion only i have explained that in very much detail in the in the first video yeah that in partly convertible debenture the portion which will be convertible which will be converted into equity shares for that you don't have to create drr because that will be converted right there is no cash involved in that what's the purpose what is the reason of making a fund for that there is no reason yeah because it will be converted into equity share that convertible portion you have to the company have to only you know create drr in respect of the non convertible portion the portion which will be paid in cash yeah we are talking about partly convertible debentures here is that clear right so that's regarding drr and then we moved on to the technicalities of drr and we understood how much drr do we have to create we have to create 10% of the value of the outstanding debentures for example if in the balance sheet we have 1 lakh face value of debentures then of that we have to create only 10% profit and loss account debit 10000 to drr 10000 is that clear simple then what is the timing when do we have to create drr see the general rule is that we can create drr any time before redemption yeah any time before redemption but we can't follow that if we follow that then the answers of every student will be different someone will create drr in the second year someone will create drr in the third year yeah it will be different so what we have to follow we have to follow what the icii does in the icii module what they have done they have transferred to drr as soon as debentures are issued or allotted yeah we have to do it in one go yeah at once and on the first day simple as that and the same rule applies to the dri also okay let me just write that see here same for dri yeah on the first day only you have to do this all right is that clear right so that's regarding the drr and then we have debenture redemption reserve investment now here you all know that we can't keep the money idle in the cupboard we have to invest that somewhere yes that's what we saw and how much do we have to invest at least 15% of the amount of debentures maturing during the year on 31st march for example if we have you know 1000 outstanding debentures maturing 100 debentures in current year then of that 100 whatever face value is there of that 15% you have to invest in specified investment now what specified investment the investment which are allowed as per the companies act only in those investment we can invest yeah we can't invest in equity shares mutual funds no we can't invest in risky investment no we can't do that we have to invest in the securities which are free from charge as allowed over here and unencumbered securities unencumbered securities means the securities which are not pledged which are free from charge is that clear and see here the amount deposited or invested as the case may be above should not be utilized for any purpose other than for redemption of debenture yeah that money will only be used for the redemption of debenture okay right so that's what how much to invest and what is the timing when do we have to invest on or before 30th april in each year if here the debentures are maturing in the same year before 30th april we have to what we have to invest we have to have an investment but the general rule is like that but what we have to follow we have to follow in one go on the first day itself okay same for drr yeah i have written over here is that clear right so this is regarding debenture redemption reserve investment first you will invest on the first day and then on this investment of course you will receive the interest so for that you have to pass an entry bank account debit you have received the money to interest on drri account and then you have to transfer that interest to the pnl account you know that right you have to transfer the interest to the pnl account profit and loss account yeah it will not be reinvested okay then what then you have to sell the investment at the time of redemption of debenture so when you will sell the investment what will happen you will get the money and the investment will be gone you have to credit the investment to drri and the profit or loss will go to profit and loss account if there is loss then it will be debited yeah profit and loss debit 
if there is profit it will be credited to profit and loss is that clear simple this regarding debenture redemption reserve investment is that clear right and then what do we have yeah and then we have adequacy of drr and dri now this is very simple i have simplified this yeah it's very simple for drr for any of these companies there is no requirement of drr only for the other unlisted you know this yeah and then drri here the requirement is for only nbfc is listed hfc is listed and other listed as well as unlisted simple as that right yeah and then this is the adequacy how much do you have to create drr and dri yeah 10 percent of value of outstanding debentures drr and for drri 15 percent of the amount of debentures maturing in the current year during the year is that clear and you can invest only in the specified investment fine and then we understood the no, what's the x interest yeah from this example and come interest it's just two way of quoting the prices x interest means cost of the investment and come interest means cumulative of interest it also includes the accrued interest yeah i explained this in very much detail isn't it when you purchase and sell the securities what happens there will be interest generated up till the trade of transaction and that interest will also be included in the transaction price yeah and it will be called as come interest price yeah so please watch the video to understand this whole concept okay i can't you know waste the time over here right and this is the calculation of interest for the come interest x interest and accrued interest yeah so how we are going to calculate this it's very simple ignore the brokerage and all what you're going to do here face value of debentures from to the period you have to take yeah you have to use the shortcuts over here number of months you will find the x interest interest come interest. You'll see practically while solving on problem okay don't worry all right so this is the working note and then calculation of outstanding interest this also i've explained very much detail i'm not gonna go in detail over here right now yeah you have to watch the video properly and then we came to the methods of redemption i said we have four methods of redemption here of debentures lump sum at once you're making the payment in installment thoda thoda payment karne ka, yeah it means company redeems a portion of debentures each year by purchase in open market already explained that the company purchases its own debentures and cancels them off yeah and then by conversion into shares if the debentures are convertible then they are converted into equity shares and the debentures are cancelled right so these are the four methods we have now let's get back to our video yeah now here we have the sequence of events that will be happening in the company from the issue of debentures till the redemption and we are going to see that now along with the general entry so let's start see here it's very simple first event will be issue of debentures yes you all know that and the entry of the issue of debentures is very simple when the debentures are issued money is coming in to the company so bank account debit and a liability is being created so two dash percentage debentures account and only face value will go over there if the issue of debenture is at premium yeah if it is at premium let's say it's over the face value 110 rupees then what will happen only 100 rupees will go over here only face value will go to the dash percentage debentures account whatever extra 10 rupees is there that will go to securities premium you all know that simple foundation level entry yes then what will happen then you have to immediately create drr and dri isn't it that's what our module does transfer to drr as soon as debentures are issued or allotted do it in one go at once and on the first day so that same thing applies for the dri isn't it you have to see the adequacy whether it applies to your you know the company which is given in the question and 99 percent of the time i tell you that other unlisted company will be given okay so you'll have to create drr as well as dri so the creation of drr is very simple what do you do you take the money from profit and loss transfer it to drr account simple profit and loss is decreasing reserve is decreasing you have to debit that profit and loss account debit and drr is increasing you are creating drr so reserve is increasing drr is increasing you have to credit that profit and loss account debit to drr simple then what then you have to create dri you have to invest the money into the any investment which they will give you in the question if they haven't given you then what you have to do you have to take simple drri account to bank account simple investment is happening asset is increasing so drr account debit to bank account money is decreasing right so that's what now drr is 10 percent of the value of the outstanding debentures in the balance sheet and dri is 15 percent of the value of the debentures maturing in the current year on 31st march simple you understand that then what will happen now will the dri keep quiet yeah will it sit tight on its ass no it will earn interest yeah it will earn interest so that's why receive interest on dri account so what will happen you will receive interest so bank account debit to interest on dri account yeah that's why we invested the money yeah we are not stupid just to give the money to someone no because we are generating income over here that's why we will receive interest so bank account debit to interest on dri account simple so here money is coming in and income is being recognized to interest on dri now at the last we have to close this okay this is a nominal income account we have to close this account remember that fine moving on then what will happen see here then yeah 
now the company has to pay the interest to the debenture holder right isn't it yes so pay interest on debentures so entry for that will be very simple see here debenture interest account to bank account yeah debenture interest is an expense it is paid you know half yearly every six months so what will happen is this entry might happen two times okay two times okay and the due dates will be given to the question you have to see where it falls in the sequence okay it can also come at last also at 31st March and in somewhere in between like that so it will happen two times mostly in 99% of the questions fine so you have to see that and we will see that while solving the problem don't worry okay so debenture interest account debit expenses being recognized because you are paying the interest the company is paying the interest to bank account here we receive this is on investment here on the liability on this debenture liability we are paying the interest you all know this simple thing fine so that's regarding the payment of interest on debentures and it will happen twice keep that in mind and this is also what a nominal expense account it also has to be closed off at the end by transferring it to profit and loss keep that in mind okay right then the next thing is you have to start the redemption process now what's the redemption process repayment process first as a company you have to accept in accounting terms we have to pay money to debenture holder so how you're gonna do that in accounting terms in accounting terms you have to make the payment due to debenture holder so how are you going to do that? Simple. Whatever liability you have, yeah, percentage debentures, here liability was created. Now you have to cancel that liability. You have dash percentage debentures account debit. You are debiting the liability, canceling it off. And then let's say the redemption is happening at a premium. Let's say the issue happened at rupees 100 face value and you are repaying the debenture holders 110. Yeah, 10 rupees is what? That 10 rupees is premium on redemption. That's our loss. Yeah, we are paying extra so that's our loss so loss is what what happens to our loss loss is an invisible expense so what happens to expense how do you record that you have to debit that premium on redemption account debit so percentage debentures account debit premium on redemption account debit yeah 100 rupees 10 rupees debit debit and this 110 rupees to whom it will be paid it has to be paid to debenture holder but in this entry we are just making the payment due we have to pay to debenture holder right so that's what will be happening over here to debenture holder this liability we cancelled off, expense we recorded and we transferred this 110 amount on the head of debenture holder. We have to pay. We created a personal liability over here to debenture holder account. So liability of debenture holder is being created over here. Simple, simple entry. You understood the whole logic of that entry? Yes. Then what will happen? Once you accepted that you have to pay money to debenture holder, then you have to arrange the funds. You have to bring the money. So how are you going to bring the money? I have given your parents example. Now, your parents have to pay your fees, your college fees. What they're going to do? They're going to bring the money from their savings or if they have some investment, they will sell off the investment and bring the money and pay your fees. Yeah, something like that happens. So the same concept applies over here. You are going to sell your investment. DRRI will be sold, right? So bank account debit to DRI account. Yeah, that's the selling of DRI, the investment. Simple. Now here what can happen? Either you can sell it loss. Yeah, either loss will be there or, or either profit will be there. If there is profit then you will credit to profit and loss if there is loss what will happen you will debit profit and loss simple loss or profit will go to profit and loss is that clear in the same entry you will have to pass bank account let's say that loss bank account debit profit and loss account debit to dri like that simple as that you know that right simple entry then what then of course you will make the payment to debenture holder yeah you have money by selling of the dri but that would not be entirely enough you will have to bring some more money right so you will take all the money and pay to the debenture holder right so when you will pay to the debenture holder see here you created personal liability over here that personal liability has to be scrapped off right now because you're making the payment over here here you accepted we have to pay here you are making the payment so debenture holder account debit yeah liability is being debited over here cancelled off and you're paying the money to bank account credit simple as that you have made the payment to debenture holder once you have made the payment to debenture holder then tell me what is the use of drr what is the use of drr so what you're going to do you are going to transfer whatever balance you have in drr to general reserve we have seen that in the concept yes so to reduce the drr what you're going to do you are going to debit the reserve yeah drr is a reserve right so decrease reserve by debiting it drr account debit to general reserve yeah general reserve money is being transferred to general reserve general reserve is increasing reserve is increasing you have to credit that simple simple we understood that then what will happen then you have to close off two nominal accounts which you have one is the income one is the expense account these two accounts you have which accounts are those i have already told you 
see receive interest on DRI this was the income account to interest on DRI this has to be closed off and transfer to profit and loss yeah so see here transfer interest on DRI account to profit and loss see here interest on DRI account debit to profit and loss account here interest on DRI this income account was recognized and credited now here what you have to do to cancel that account and the balance to be transferred to profit and loss you have to debit that and credit the profit and loss account simple here it was credited you will debit it and transfer to profit and loss then one more nominal expense account we have over here that's the payment of interest and mostly in 19 and personal the question these entries will be twice the payment of interest every six months right half yearly on the due dates so on the due dates wherever it falls you have to take that two entries will be there but the account will be one yeah debenture interest account account will be one two entries will be there of the same account so debenture interest that account you have to close it off by transferring same like to profit and loss yeah but here it was expense account so here it was debited to recognize the expense now here you're gonna credit that and transfer to profit and loss Did you understand this is income here it will be debited this will be credited yeah to close off the expense yeah recorded cancelled recorded cancelled like that clear right so profit and loss account debit to debenture interest account simple then what will happen we understood that yeah one more thing one more thing see here as i said two entry will be happening of this debenture interest so let's say 50000 is there and one more entry somewhere here is there 50000 so 50000 50000 1 lakh you have to transfer to profit and loss keep that in mind okay don't mess that up clear we understood that simple then what then you have to write off premium on redemption now as i told you that let's say for example the debentures were issued at face value 100 and redemption is happening the repayment is happening at you know premium at 110 at 110 so that 10 rupees is what that 10 rupees is our loss it's our loss so that loss invisible expense has to be written off so that's what we have to do at last write off premium on redemption if any yeah if any because always it's not necessary that the redemption will happen at premium if the redemption is happening at premium only then you will write off okay unnecessarily you will not do that you will lose the marks <laughs> right yes so how are you going to write that off simple here it was debited you recognize the expense that expense you have to cancel it off you have to write it off so credit that to premium and redemption and to write it off you have to use the balance from the free reserves such as profit and loss account general reserve and all that yeah you can also use securities premium but the module doesn't do that so we will not do that yeah for us what module does we follow that right simple as that so profit and loss account debit general reserve account debit to premium on redemption is that clear so this was the sequence of events that you have to follow simple thing issue of debentures create the drr and dri as soon as the issue of debentures or allotment is over right so once you create the drr and dri then what you will do then you will receive the interest on your investment you have to make an entry for that and pay the interest on debenture holders simple i mean the debentures and then make the payment due sell your investment bring more money yeah and then pay to the debenture holder their payment and then as soon as the redemption is over no purpose of drr transfer it to general reserve and then what will happen close of the nominal account such as interest on dri and then here the debenture interest the payment that also close these two transfer them to profit and loss and then if any premium on redemption is there you have to write it off is that clear now premium on redemption can also happen you know at the issue time only yeah they might book this loss at issue time only but in 99 percent of the question what will happen is the question will be silent the question will not say yeah the question will not say whether the at the issue time they have booked this loss or not yeah this loss if they haven't yeah then we have to record it but what we're going to do if the question is silent we are going to assume that this was not booked at the issue and we are going to do this entry at last okay simple right so this is what the sequence of events in redemption of debenture this is very simple right so now from the next video what we're going to do in the next video in the third video we are going to solve one lump sum problem yes and that would clear all of your doubts practically is that clear right that's it okay see you in the next video bye